Well, Grandma would be shocked to hear her quilt she spent hours crafting was being torn apart. When she realizes it's to give her artwork an afterlife, she may react differently. Our newest reporter, Emma Hudziak, tells us more in tonight's In Focus. Today, the Crossing Arts Alliance opens a new exhibit called Quilt, Not Quilt, The Afterlife. A group of 12 artists have come together to create an exhibit around the idea of using old tattered quilts to make new art. I think when the artists sat down to create this artwork, they're thinking of their great-great-grandmother who had made the quilt and the time and care that she would have put into this quilt of making sure her lines were straight and everything was beautiful and functional. Never could that grand great-grandmother have thought that her the next generations might be taking that quilt apart and using it in a different way. By focusing on the details, scarcity, and plenty, the participating artists would tear apart the quilt and generate things that you'd never expect. They have taken old quilts and the batting and made paper and poetry and broadsides and mixed media and created something that is different than the original, but something that's not of less value. As this exhibit showcases, quilts are more than just a blanket. For Bob, they're an extension of his family. I still pull that blanket out and it's just memories of, of childhood, memories of mom. Plus that particular quilt is also brings memories of where I've been because it's been there too. No matter where you find yourself going. Been to Germany a couple times, been to Korea, been to uh, Iraq a couple times. And as much as the quilt has changed, its story lives on. Each quilt has its own place to be remembered. There is a book here that contains a swatch of each quilt that was used and deconstructed for the project. So we have gloves available and people can flip through these quilts that some are coming from the 1800s and look at the previous form and then compare it to its new form. Reporting in Brainerd with this week's In Focus, Emma Hudziak, Lakeland News. Visitors can win a quilt by entering their names in a drawing. The exhibit is offered until October 2nd. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.